All right, so are you one of the 60% of Americans that are living paycheck to paycheck heading into the holidays? Are you one of them? Well, let's go through this real quick and then we'll jump into some tables showing what uh, people have saved based on their age and uh, basically what they also have saved for retirement based on age. And it'll give you kind of a feeling we're feeling, feeling, feeling in the uh, mean and median groups of uh, earners and savers. So anyway, 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. Uh, Americans just love spending money, they love credit. So just one month before the holiday season, this is from uh, November 20th, thought I'd revisit it. Uh, season kicks into high gear, 60% of adults said they live in paycheck to paycheck. Consum uh, consumers still plan to overspend, <laughs> oh my God, during the holidays. Don't buy stuff you can't afford, I don't know. People either are trying to fill a void mentally or emotionally, and they just want to spend money, or they feel they have to keep up with the Joneses, or they feel that social media, everyone else is living high, everyone has a jet, everyone has a McMansion, everyone's traveling, and that's social media. It's all fake, folks. It's all a lie. It's all just a perception and people putting out, they're projecting the perfect world. The reality is completely opposite. Yeah, we're in a world, we're in a world, we're in a period of hyperconsumption. Yeah, people are just buying crap they can't afford. And then they just figure, oh, I'll just go bankrupt, or I'll just leave it, or I'll just walk away from the house and the car. And yeah, the repos are up. Foreclosures are up. This is now December. Uh, about what? I don't know what date it is. Yeah, about 10 days before Christmas, and we are, uh, foreclosures are way up. Uh, people's cars are going to repossess. People can't afford a new car. Trucks are 90000 Dealerships cannot move trucks. Then they're all stacked on top of each other. When Dodge, Ram, Chevy, Toyota are all asking 90K for a pickup truck? Are you joking? Give me a break. No one's going to buy that. So that, you know, people just, they, they reached their limit. They can't afford it, but now people still want to buy this stuff. You just got to stop. I don't know. They say inflation is cooling. Eh, I don't believe that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, everyone, four in 10 consumers consider themselves worse off relative to 2022. They do expect to overspend during the holidays. Uh, let's see, this year holiday spending through the Thanksgiving week may hit a record as consumers try to maximize weekend deals. What I did here is that people were out in the stores because they're bored, but nobody was buying anything. It was just everyone was just looking around. I was actually amazed to know there's malls yet. Uh, people still go to malls and they walk the malls and buy stuff. That's, I don't know, that just seems like another generation ago. Anyway, I think it's just all box stores now. Even those are going out. I think all we have is Walmart and Costco. Not here, but other cities. Oh, uh, let's see, as credit card debt tops one trillion. One trillion at 23% interest. That's, that's crazy, guys. If you can't pay off your balance each month, you shouldn't be buying it. You really shouldn't. I know some folks will uh, use their credit card as income to pay down their bills and just keep this thing rolling. And it's, a, it's just a endless rabbit hole. You'll never get out of debt. You gotta stop it. All right, let's just go through. There's nothing else going on here. Hyperconsumption, people like buying shoddy objects. People like using their credit cards like it's going out of business. Try using cash. When you're using cash, you're less likely to spend it. When you go out to eat, yeah, yeah you're, you're less likely to buy expensive stuff when you're giving up that physical dollar. You know. But if you're using credit card, oh, just swipe it. Just swipe it, Mr. Restaurant, Mr. Store. I'll pay it off in 10,000 years. Yeah, it's so easy to get in debt with credit cards and online shopping. You just got to walk away. You got to cut the cards up. Just get one card. Anyway, hopefully you're not one of the 60% of Americans living paycheck to paycheck. Yeah, that's not good. Let's go over now and look at what the average family has in savings. So here we go. This is on credit.com. Yeah, I think they would know a little bit about credit. So let's see how you guys fall into these age range value of savings as well. So here we have right down here. Let's fix something real quick. I'll get my little cursor pointer ready so we can all do this. I always forget to get my cursor up. It makes life easier. It's like found a little bouncing ball. All right, let's go. All right, age range, 34 years old and under. The median is $32.40, $3,240 of savings. The mean, is 11,200. Now let's revisit school. I know public school doesn't teach this stuff anymore and it's sad, but the mean right here, the mean value of savings, the mean 
represents the average balance of all savings accounts, and it is calculated by totaling all the accounts and dividing by the number of counts. That's the mean. Median, the median value, represents the middle value. For example, the median of the numbers five and seven is six. Yeah, so that's the difference between mean and median. Gives you an idea, right? 3544 is a 4700 median, 279, and then 45 to 54 is 5620, and then 48,200 mean. And you can read 55 to 64 is 6400, and 55,800 mean. So where do you guys fall in that range based on your age group? Are you uh, have better savings than the mean and the median? Or you have zero? You know, it gives you a warm fuzzy where you, where you uh, basically fall based on these uh, statistics. All right, let's go through. So say you're not where you're at. Say you're living page to paycheck. Here's some great stuff to go through. Follow a budget. I know it's difficult. My, my advice is if you have subscriptions, Netflix, uh, magazines, online stuff, find out what they are and just cut them. You don't need Netflix. You can watch most of the stuff on YouTube for free. And if you download the Brave browser, you don't have to watch commercials either while watching YouTube. So and Brave is built, uh, built upon the Chrome browser, so it's pretty sound. And then you actually get paid to use the Brave browser. I Just a little tip there. Yeah, go through your budget. By that, I would say just find out what membership fees you're paying, monthly fees, some stuff you can't. You have to pay your electricity, obviously. But, you know, subscriptions to crap you don't need. Just cut it. Even Amazon Prime, you don't need it. You can actually find stuff cheaper elsewhere. Uh, you don't need Prime to spend that hundred. Was it 135 bucks a month or a year now? And um, do you need? Do you really need Netflix, Hulu, HBO? It's all crap. Disney Plus, God, you should not have Disney Plus. Get rid of that. Yeah, that's what you need to do. I know it's hard. You want your shiny objects. It's tough. And the problem with making videos like this and all these other guys that made financial advice videos and stuff like this, people that need to hear it don't don't watch it, don't consume it. So pretty much we're preaching to the choir when we talk about this stuff. This will at least give you guys a warm fuzzy basically on where you fall based on the uh, averages in the country and the means and the medians. All right, save creative, creatively. Basically, the best lesson is try not to be in debt. Mortgage is hard to avoid now because everything is so damn expensive. It's a life contract, mortgage. That's the definition of mortgage, a life contract. Or no, death contract, sorry. It's a death contract. Uh, French word, death contract, mortgage. Mortgage, mortgage, I don't know. Yeah, uh, don't have debt. If you're gonna need a car, try not to pay cash for a car. Get a used one. It's just gotta run from point A to B, be sort of comfortable. You know, two to three years old, just save enough money, go buy, go to CarMax or something. You know, just, I don't know, people are dropping 90,000 on a pickup truck, give me a break. Oh my God, and they aren't. That's just the thing, people are not buying it. Car dealers and manufacturers have gotten too greedy. They don't care about you, they want the mighty dollar. And then they're, they're just, Piling up, and if you do a search around some of the cities, Boise and uh, some of the other cities uh, in Texas and that, you can see that their dealerships are dropping them, 15, 20. They're starting to drop prices because they just can't move the inventory. All right, again, my point there is don't put it on credit. Try to pay cash. That will, you know, that will make you a better shopper. <laughs> you can earn more money. That's not it. That's easier said than done. Automate your savings. If you automate investing in savings, you don't miss it. If you get a raise of 10%, just put that 10% in the savings. Just you know, direct it to another bank account, a savings account. Uh, send it to an investment account. Oh, if you have lots of debt, yeah. You gotta, you, like I said, you gotta find out, consolidate it to one area. Try to knock it down, beat that debt down first. I don't know, speak of the financial professional, I don't know, I don't trust these guys. They're trying to sell you stuff, they're gonna make money off you. But you got to do your diligence. If you, if you know somebody that used these guys and they, they can swear by them, then maybe give them a call. But they're there to make money and they're going to sell you crap. And uh, you just don't know if they're reputable or not. I just, I really, T N O, I, I just don't trust anyone. Uh, sort of CFP, sort of uh, fried public um, planners, all that stuff. I just don't trust them. Uh, try to pay the minimal fees. On credit card, it's fine to have credit cards. Just pay the damn balance off each month. That will actually train you not to go into debt. Just if I can't afford it, I can't afford it. All right, that's enough of that. Let's go over this one. All right, here it is again. Here's the table. How much does the average American have in savings? All right, you got that. Let's go down and uh, here we have some more charts. 
Here we have, uh, let's see, say you're 45. Boom, average account balance. Should be about in the 50s, close to 50. And then you got your median as well. Uh, 60, uh, 55, 64, you should be around uh, when your account balance, high 50s, not too shabby. You get the gist. Screenshot that. Our right, average savings by age 25, we went through it. Uh, tips for saving money in your 20s. This is on credit.com and their blog. Just go look it up. You can look at it here and read it. It's just common sense. Always start saving for retirement. At least put in enough money. If they're matching 6%, put in 6%. You know, that's all you got to do. And hopefully it's a Roth. If you can do a Roth 401k, that's a win. Prior, bleh, prioritize paying off your debt. Basically, don't just don't buy crap you don't need. Don't eat out all the time. Eating out is actually unhealthy too. Most of the restaurants, fast food is poison. Do not eat fast food. Uh, most restaurants put too much sodium in the food. So if you keep eating it, you're going to blow it up. You're just going to get bloated and fat and because uh, they want it to taste good. And when they make it taste good, they load it with sugar, fat, all that crap. And it's just going to wait. You go out and spend 20 bucks, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. 20 bucks. God, you could buy like uh, three, three, three to four pounds of ground beef and knock yourself out and learn how to cook and make your own hamburger. I know, I know, but it's hard to cook. I'm lazy. Well, then don't be lazy. If you're going to be lazy, you're going to go broke. So, wow. Yeah. Uh, just don't buy crap. Don't shop when you're hungry. All right, pay off debt, and here we got 30. Look at these things. Emergency fund, that's easier said than done. Uh, that's what people use credit cards for, I think. It's, it's crazy. Uh, retirement's key. Time goes fast, man. It is short. Life is short AF. It is short, short, short. Start saving when you can, because once you're there, you don't get that time back. All right. Oh, the same stuff. You can just go through it. Take steps to avoid lifestyle creep. That's a tough one. If you get a bonus, you get a new job, you get 20% more. Don't buy the McMansion. I kind of regret that. You're buying these houses. Like, I was happy with what I had. I almost had it paid off. And then you go and buy another house, and you just perpetually restart the old interest payment cycle. You just never get out that way. Be happy with what you got, as long as you're not in a horrible neighborhood. Uh, just, just tough it, tough it out, man. Be happy with what you got. You got all this stuff, a big McMansion over 2,500, 3,000 feet bigger. You have a living room and a dining room. You never use those. Those are walkthrough rooms to get upstairs. And you have to heat them and power them and clean them. It's just a big waste of space. That's why I think minimizing down your life is key as well. Don't live in a, what do they call it? It's a tiny house. That's ridiculous. You know, someone come steal your house with you in it. Uh, but, you know, get something modest in a nice little neighborhood. If you can work remote, go to a cheaper area. Go out to Kansas or somewhere. Because uh, if you do, then you'll make more money. You'll be able to save more money if you're working remote. And then you can go where you want for vacation. If you're living in a tourist town, you're paying premium to live there. And then, I don't know, you just don't have enough money to go anywhere because you're just living a premium, paying a premium to live in a nice city. Just live out in a country where it's cheaper or a small town. Save that money. When do you want to go? Pocking that money in your bank account. And then, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm in the middle of the country. I can fly to California. I can fly to Florida. You know, boom, easy button. You know, if you're living right there, you're paying, like, geez. 700,000 north for a house. Rents about 5,000 to 10,000 to rent a house. A condo rent, apartment rent, is probably about 4,000. It's ridiculous. I don't know how people are surviving. Diversify your investments. Yeah, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Index 500 fund, man. Just go for it. Boom. Not financial advice. This is just entertainment purposes only. Because <laughs> if you put your money, you lose everything. That's on you. All right. Tips for saving money by age. Here we go. They just nice little... Nice little computer things. And this is funny. So here's a joke. Yeah, it's a woman, 25 guys. Don't get married. Best way to save money. Do not get married. There's no need to get married in today's age. The uh, family court is against the male. She can make up anything and just at any whim decide, I'm going to divorce. And you're going to lose your retirement, your pension, uh, and be paying her to live with her new boyfriend in your house. It's just not worth it. The best relationships I see are couples that live apart in their own places and they see each other now and then. It's almost the freaking perfect relationship. Everyone's happy and it works. And that's the way it is today. You don't need to get married, guys. Don't do it. All right, 40. Yeah, pay off your credit card. That just goes without saying, guys. Financial planning, just read a book, watch some videos. Uh, doubt but verify all the information that's out there. 50, cut down on spending. Uh, 
Yeah, you don't need, as you get older, you just realize, why do I have all this crap? And then your biggest friend becomes Facebook Marketplace and eBay, where you're dumping, you're dumping all the shiny little trinkets you bought that are just gathering dust that doesn't, doesn't what, or what, what am I trying to say? That haven't gone to oppress anyone. They're just junk you purchase because you wanted to, I don't know. You hit the click button, the buy now button. Now I got it. Yeah, you got to watch that crap. Just walk away. If you're going to buy something, put it in your cart. Here's a trick you do. You really are. Right, I'm going to buy something, and you know, not a big ticket, but something expensive or a bunch of crap. Put it in your shopping cart online, right? Then just walk away. Leave it there for a day. And then come back. You're going to find nine times out of ten. I don't really want that crap. It was just that spur of the moment, the dopamine hit. I'm going to hit buy. I'm going to hit buy. Oh, I'm going to get it shipped to me by Mr. UPS. Oh, I can't wait. No, no. Get your fix, put it in the cart and walk away. Don't buy it. You'll come back and just clear that cart out as fast as you can. All right, 50, 60. Lower, yeah, duh. Just live within your means. It's so easy. There's no reason to keep up with your, your neighbors who bought their Tesla Model S. Guess what? They're broke. You know, they're broke. Delay collecting Social Security benefits. Yeah, that's a whole tax. As you, if you're in this age range, considering retirement, you can retire at any age. It just means... Can you live off your savings? Now, retirement doesn't mean stop working and do nothing. It means I'm done having a J-O-B, just over broke, crappy old job. I'm going to go do what I want to do or just have fun doing something, maybe for less money, obviously, but I'm going to have more free time. I'm going to set my life the way I want to go. And it could be any age. It depends on how much money you save. My advice, uh, if, if my advice from the engineering world to start over again, get out at 21, school, maybe don't even, well, don't even go to college. Now, you don't need college for being a software tech person. You can learn everything online. You can learn, if you want to learn something, you can learn it. It's in your ability to just consume and be good at it. It's amazing when you really want something bad enough, you can be good at it. Now, some people don't have skills, obviously, yeah. If you're an idiot, you're not going to pick up some of the uh, algorithms and structures and stuff, but most people are going <laughs> to figure it out. And then just go to it. Don't go to college for some stuff. It's just a waste of time and money. And they're just big uh, money churning factories to take your money and you get out broke. Look at Harvard. What a joke. Harvard's the biggest joke college in the world. You pay all that money. And then on average, a Harvard graduate is making 50000 a year. What a joke. And then they have a, what, a debt of 150 north of student loans. It's just a big freaking scam, man. Just go to the companies. Amazon, <clears throat> SpaceX, uh, Tesla, Apple, who else is out there? Uh, Facebook, just all the techies, Google, and just show them what you can do. There's a little bit of weird ideology in some of these companies. You got to play the game, but show them what you can do. Get in there, work for 10 years, sock as much money away as you can till it hurts. You know, just get a used car, live in a decent little uh, rental place or find a cheap house, and then just sock away for 10 years. Boom, you're going to be well off at 30. And then, oh, don't get married either because that's going to suck all your money too. But uh, live by yourself, have your own life, build your uh, professionalism, your skills, and then uh, pocket as much as you can. And then, boom, you might find I'm going to go do something else now. I have enough money saved. I'm going to go live the life on my terms. Yeah. Why wait till you're 50 or 60? It's just, it's just deferring gratification, gratification of uh, just all this materialistic crap that this country, this society, culture, forces on people all right 18 minutes in guys you get the gist of this right uh, then when you get up to social security age there's a whole retirement at that age when you're near the uh, early withdrawal 62 to um, fra full retirement or then the further one which is 67 and then uh, after that is 70 it goes up in uh, benefits it's a whole tax strategy don't there's no one answer if you're watching youtube about when to take social security benefits, blah, blah, blah. It's all based on your lifestyle. It's not one answer fits all. Don't believe anyone who tells you otherwise. It's a tax problem that needs to be solved. Uh, benefit wise, if you're married, joint survivor benefits, you gotta consider all this stuff. If you know when you're gonna pass away, it's an easy problem because then you can plan accordingly, but you're just kinda, use social security as an insurance policy so it's best to take it later because you'll get more and then you'll have more as you get older as your retirement money you saved dwindles down does that make sense don't treat it as your main income treat it as an insurance policy you should hopefully have saved enough in your 
IRAs, 401ks, Roth IRAs to uh, have a comfortable retirement. Uh, yeah, that's my opinion. And Roth IRA, if you get it all into a Roth, as if you can com contribute to your Roth yearly, if you're if, if you can, if you're it depends on age, you can do seven thousand or seventy five hundred. I can't remember what it is now for your catch up amount. If you're over fifty or something, fifty two, I think you can do seventy five hundred to your Roth. Put it in a Roth. Oh my God, that's the win right there. Yeah, that's the secret. That's the secret sauce. Ah, yep. Uh, let's see. Lower your cost, delay Social Security benefits, take advantage of senior discounts. That's kind of interesting. Look into relocating in a tax-friendly state. Uh, just coming out top of mind, Maryland is a horrible state. Like California, they tax the, the crap out of you. They got state income tax, local tax, county tax. They had a rain tax. It's almost like a socialistic state. Very bad state. Then you go to Florida, there's no, in, there's no state income tax. So right there, you, uh, you're saving 15% over, say, Maryland. So there that's that's something to think about you do not need to stay where you're at and actually it's sometimes fun to move to a new place start over do something new no snow <laughs> no ice no beltways <laughs> it, it's all what you want uh yeah plan your mortgage you can read you can learn any of this stuff it's all online and again like i said if someone's giving you retirement advice there's not one shoe fits all it's a tax problem you need to solve and it's all based on your lifestyle and stuff like that and what you have saved and uh, do you have a house mortgage you can carry a house mortgage into retirement it just all depends on your income you need income unless you're going to do roth ra conversions you and then you want to have some gap years and then see if it actually fits your tax situation to convert your iras pull some of that out pay the tax keep your tax bracket below say 12 percent if you want to do 22 you got to look at your um adjusted gross AGI, right? Adjusted gross income. And then say, well, what can I afford? Does this keep me in the right tax bracket for my Roth or conversion? And then you say, okay, then you take out that say 10 K and that whole 10 K then goes into your Roth. But now you're using your after-tax money in your account to pay the taxes due on that extra money, the 12%, get it? It's treated as income. And if you're in a 12% tax bracket, you pay 12% on that yeah everybody wants your money that's what you learn when you have money or you get money people want to take the money out of your wallet and put it in theirs anyway that is all i want to go over just interesting article go to credit.com go through it again people that need this advice on how to save and get this stuff most don't watch youtube videos and want to learn uh, some just panic and just keep living kicking the can down the road and uh, charging up those old credit cards yeah i don't know what's going to happen got so much credit card debt it's crazy yeah, foreclosures are up, I said. Repos on cars are up. People just can't afford the monthlies. All right, what do you guys think? Hey, if you're over these brackets, if you're over these savings, I mean, most millionaires I know are quiet about it. They pull up in an old pickup truck. You want to know the difference. They're not driving a Mazda, 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 a Bugatti, you know what I mean, or, or a, a, a Range Rover. They're uh, pulling up in a, like a 2013 Toyota Tacoma. And you wouldn't know any better. And that's the smart guys in the world. They just got the wealth behind them. They got enough. They're comfortable. And they're just out driving around their truck looking for something to do, having fun, enjoying the sun. Right? That's what you should be. All right. I'm out of here, guys. What do you guys think about this? Do you believe? Are you living? I mean, are you guys living pay paycheck to paycheck? Do you believe in these savings? Where do you guys fall in these uh, average account balances? And uh, what do you suggest to people to up their game? Uh, is it easy to save more money? Yes. Cut out the expenses. Live within your means. Learn to cook at home. Just easy stuff, but people are lazy, so hard to break bad behaviors. All right, on that note, I'm out.